In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Canda app and explaining why I think it might be the best math app for any student. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny. I don't know about you guys, but for me, one of the worst subjects in school was math. I was terrible at math. I legit had a math tutor all the way from first grade to the end of high school. No matter what I did or how I studied, math was just always hard. Yes, my tutor did help and YouTube even helped a good amount of times, but I just wish there was something more like on demand. So for today's video, I have teamed up with the people over at Canda and I will be reviewing their app, which I think is phenomenal for any student struggling in math no matter if you're in elementary school middle school high school college no matter where you are if you're struggling in math this app is for you the story behind the app is actually really interesting Ray Lee founded Canda when he was an undergraduate in college he was touring a bunch of math kids and he realized that a bunch of these kids had the same exact math problems a lot of these math problems came from the same textbooks the same websites and Ray Lee said you know what let me create an app and help all these students out so he developed Canda where students can scan and submit math questions and receive a really detailed response. Pretty much the main thing that Canda does is that it allows you to scan any math question and it gives you a really detailed answer. But this is what I love about Canda. Not only does it give you the answer, but it also gives you a very detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to get to the answer. This is great because math is a process and yes, you can know the answer, you're right and all that, but if you don't know how to get to the answer, you've learned nothing. But with Canda, you can actually learn how to do math. And I know what you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna start using the app to cheat on my homework, get straight A's. But guys, Canda is meant for you to take advantage of their step-by-step -step guide and actually learn how to do math, not cheat. Let's actually go over some sample questions so that you guys can see how the app works in real time. I have a couple of math problems right here on this paper. I have the Canda app right here, ready to go. Let me see if I can focus it so you guys can kind of get the general layout. You guys can see. It has access to my camera. It's gonna let me scan the math problems so that I can get an answer and the detailed step-by-step -step guide. The first question is, solve the system of equations 2x minus y equals one, x plus two y equals eight graphically and find the coordinates of the points where corresponding lines intersect the y-axis. So it's a really advanced word problem. But now with the Canvas app, all I do is put my phone over it, I scan it like that, I kind of crop it to the question that I want to solve. And now the app is recognizing the problem to see if any other teachers have answered it, to see if it's already in the database. As you guys can see here, yes, it has been answered before. This teacher even has a really detailed step-by-step -step guide that he even wrote on his own. It's literally like having a tutor right here on your phone. There's just another explanation. So if you don't like one of the explanation for some reason, you can just go to like another teacher. They still give you the same answer at the end of the day. So the coordinates here would be X is negative four, Y is zero, and X is six and Y is five. The second cool thing about this app is that it has a teacher's Q and A section where you can actually ask teachers questions. Canda has teachers working on the other end to help solve problems for students like you and me. So unlike other math apps where you can only solve real simple problems with Canda you can solve word problems graph problems just really complex math problems in general the Q&A feature will even allow you to ask questions from other subjects like science and economics you know what let's try out this Q&A feature right now to see how it actually works for the Q&A feature it's really similar like how you would normally use the app but this time you're directly asking a question to a teacher I would use this for more advanced question or use it for other subjects where math is applied more complex like economics but let's do a very advanced word problem question right here we're gonna go to number six scan it like that crop it let me make sure I got the crop right because I want to make sure a teacher sees everything so there we go we're cropping it right right now we're gonna hit like that it allows me to choose my subject right here my subject is gonna be math but as you guys can see you could use science English economics finance but math here this is trig Let's see, you have some options. So we're gonna ask a question to a teacher right now. It's gonna cost me some coins, but it will definitely be worth it. So since this is a real person, it might take a little bit longer, but I already have a teacher that's solving the problem for me. So like I said, it's literally like having a tutor right next to me. But instead of being next to me, it's on my phone. All right, so my teacher replied. Let's see what she gave me. Literally, it's like having a tutor. She gave me a really good explanation of everything. Literally step by step, 
This is just perfect. Exactly what Something I need. Something about Canda, which I think any math app should have, is a built-in calculator. Canda's calculator acts like a normal calculator where you can like do things like 2 plus 2 equals 4, but it also allows you to solve complex equations and it just has many other functions. Let's check out the calculator and solve some problems. So as you guys can see, the Canda calculator looks like any normal calculator, but it actually solves the equation, which is really nice. So like if I put like, I don't know, like 2... Uh, X, where's the X, X, then I go back, equals four, and then I hit like next, it's gonna like load a little bit, let's see, please wait, please wait, and as you guys can see, two X equals four, and it gives me the answer for X, so X equals two, which is correct, and I can even do a systems of equations, so let's go back to our older question, let's see, three X plus two Where's the y? Where's the y? y equals 3. And then x minus 4 y equals 13. We hit next. And there we have it. It gives me the answer. X equals 19 over 7 and Y equals negative 18 over 7. You even have it graphed right here. You can see the graph, which is really cool. You can literally zoom in, zoom out. So even though it looks like a normal calculator, it does a lot more than just add 2 plus 2. But if you want to be basic or you have a really easy math class, why not? Let's just do it. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1, whatever. There's a bunch of random numbers. Let me take that away because it's going to cause an error. We just hit next. And it should add everything up. If it was able to solve that really complex issue, look, there we go. Find the sum answer 18. So it does everything. If it does, if you want to do a really easy problem, it does an easy problem. If you want to do something complex, it'll solve something complex. It's just really good calculator to have. All right, guys, that is it for my Canda app review. As you guys saw, the app has a lot of really cool features. So if you're struggling in math, I highly suggest you download it. I'm going to be leaving the link to Canda both for Apple and Android down below in my description. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on my weekly uploads. That is it for me, but always remember to stay hydrated.